Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Hands-On Equations. Uh, actually, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Hands-On Equations, or good afternoon, and welcome to Hands-On Equations. Uh, we are now on Lesson 19. Uh, if this is Mr. Lowe's class, we did Lesson 19 already, so I'm going to go a quick review so that the kids from Mrs. Cozier's class can kind of understand what we're doing. So our first problem is star minus 3 equals negative 6. Let's go ahead and set that one up on your boards, please. So follow along with me. Let's put a star up on the board. And then I need to take away a 3. In order for me to take away a 3 from this setup, I need to add my convenient 0. I add my 0 onto the board in my setup process, and now I can take away a positive 3. That leaves me with star plus negative 3. And on the other side, we have negative 6. So now what we want to do is we want to sissify it. That is simplify, isolate, and solve, and evaluate. And to solve my equation I can subtract negative 3 from both sides. Uh, so I can take negative 3 from negative 3 and I have a 0 here. And I take negative 3 from negative 6 and that leaves me with a negative 3. So that leaves me with an answer of star equals 3. Uh, not 3, negative 3. And if star equals negative 3, let's go ahead and do our check. And our check would be negative 3 minus 3 equals negative 6. And let's see here, negative 3 minus a negative, we said is actually going to be plus a negative, or minus a positive is going to be plus a negative. That leaves me with negative 3 plus negative 3. So my check would be negative 6, check negative 6. That should be a negative sign, but you get the idea. Alright, we're going to move on. We're going to go relatively fast, but I think you guys will see. What all we're doing today is just adding zeros, so let's flip the page and let's get another example. And for our next example, everybody now, you're going to clear your boards, and on your boards you are going to place three stars. One, two, three. And you are doing as I am doing, please. Three stars. And now I need to take away a negative 2. I need to subtract from here a negative 2. I don't have negative 2, so let's add a convenient 0. So I make my 0. I add my Whoops. Let's try that again. I add my zeros, and now I take away a negative 2. That leaves me with 3 star plus positive 2 equals 8. And now I'm ready to solve. Simplify, isolate, solve, evaluate. Simplify, we want to take away a 2 from both sides. That leaves me with 8 minus 2, which is 6. And that leaves me with 3 star equals 6. To solve for star, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I get star equals 2. And let's plug in 2 and let's do our check. So let me put a 2 in here. So I do 3 times 2, which is 6 minus negative 2, which is always going to be plus positive 2, and that leaves me with 8, check, 8. Outstanding. So far, so good. Let's see. I believe that is all the examples we have. So for lesson 19, Mrs. Koziar's class, all you are doing is just adding zeros onto your boards to solve your problems. Not really your problems, but the problems. So let's go to lesson 20 then. And on lesson 20 now we see a little bit more complicated, just a couple more steps. Let's set this problem up on our board. 2x, 1, 2, plus negative 3. So I can add a negative because I can always add things onto my sides. And on the other side I have a positive 5 and a x. And again, just a quick reminder, we want to simplify, isolate, solve, and evaluate our problems. So then to simplify, I can take away a x from both sides. Now all my x's are gone. I want to isolate my variable, which means I want to get rid of that negative 3. I want to make that negative 3 a zero, basically. I want to get it to zero, so I'm taking away a negative three. To do that, I can do two things. I can add a positive three to both sides, thus creating a zero on this side, which now I can take off, 
and that would leave me with x equals 8. x equals 8. Or what we said you can do, whoops, there we go. We could add a 0 to this side. We can add a 0 to the other side, and now I take off my negative 3. So either one of those is going to get you the correct answer. If x equals 8, sorry, and I put an 8 in here, I have 2 times 8, which is 16. 16 plus negative 3. Uh, 16 plus negative 3 is going to be 13. And on this side, I have 5 plus 8, and 5 plus, or 8 plus 5, or 5 plus 8, and that equals 13. And I do 13 check 13. So for less than 20, the only thing that is new today is now we see stars on both sides, and our x's on both sides, and we see numbers on both sides, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. Let's try another example. Please clear your boards. We are now going to set up this problem on our board. We have three star. Whoops, that's not star, that's x. One, two, three. Three stars on my board. Everybody put three stars on your board, please. Thank you very much. Now I need to take away a negative five. I don't have a negative five, so I'm going to add a zero. Again, we know this. We're really good at it. Now I can take away a negative five. Whoops, there we go. And now I have a setup on this side of 3 star plus 5. On the other side, I'm going to add a negative 2, and I'm going to add 2 stars. And again, now we're going to simplify. Isolate, solve, evaluate. Take away 2 stars from both sides. After I take away 2 stars from both sides, I now need to isolate my variable. I want to get this star all by itself. To do that, I need to take away a 5 from both sides. I don't see a 5 over here, so let's add a 0. Let's try this one. If I can add a 0 on this side, now I can take away positive 5. And now I have star equals negative 7. Star equals negative 7. Let's plug it into our check. I got a negative 7 there and a negative 7 here. 2 times negative 7. That is a good thing happening to a bad person. That's bad. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Negative 14 plus negative 2 is negative 16. On the other side of my equation, I have 3 times negative 7, which is going to give me negative 21. Negative 21 minus a negative 5 is the same thing as negative 21 plus a positive 5, which is equal to 16. Negative. And negative 16 does check negative 16. So, for today, for Friday, this day that we're working on these, this class today, you, if you are in Mr. Lowe's homeroom, you are starting with lesson 20. If you are in Mrs. Koziar's homeroom, you are going to start with lesson 19 and work on lesson 19 and 20. Let's try one more example for lesson 20, please. Ah, uh, no we won't. That's lesson 21. We'll do that one another time. So again, lesson 19, we're adding zeros. Lesson 20, we are simply just taking away things. I now have x's and stars on both sides, and I now have positive and negative numbers on both sides. Do your best to get the uh, new problems done and done correctly. Talk to your teammates. Talk to your taverns first, uh, and then you can ask the sub for questions and uh, I hope you guys have a great day remember to be 212 and uh, have a great weekend and enjoy your long weekend I will see you on Tuesday bye